What's going on, guys? I'm Jada Black. Shout out to everyone that's tuning in. It's a very sad situation that has just occurred. I was in the middle of uploading another video. I will upload that video after I upload this, but I really wanted to speak on this because this to me, this is bad. This is, this is bad. This is awful. Due to Jeff Gladney's story, here was a young man, talented cornerback, first round pick, the Minnesota Vikings a few years ago. He actually was released due to false allegations from an ex who apparently was not faithful. And because, you know, he's an NFL player, he's going to move on and get another woman. She makes these false allegations. And I went, I went into detail about that in here. As you can see the video here, uh, I'll link in the description box. Y'all can go and check it out. I go over this. Um, I went into this and I really spoke on Jeff Gladney and what he needs to do moving forward. And he made those strides because he got an opportunity to play for the, the uh, Arizona Cardinals. So he was on his way back to getting his career back only to lose his life in a car accident at 25 years old. It is so tough seeing these young men. We've just had one talented football player lose his life in an accident. And we have another that loses his life in an accident. Dwayne Haskins was 24. And Jeff Gladney is 25. This man almost lost everything due to false allegations from a bitter ex. And he was on the road to fixing his life, his career. I mean, he'd already took the process of bettering his life off the field. But on the field, he was looking to get his career back. And then this happens. The, this is so sad, man, because the, this is the, the future. Just when I, this like when I talked about the situation in Texas, you're seeing the future just going, you know, losing their life left and right. Some situations are due to lunatics and others is due to accidents. I was looking forward to seeing his story play out. I was looking forward to seeing how he was able to win, how he was able to get back what he had lost but we'll never be able to see the the the, the storybook storybook ending to that now we just have an ending so let's get into this article from the star telegram <clears throat> a former tcu football standout who became a first round nfl draft pick has died jeff gladney lost his life in a car accident early Monday morning. His agent, Brian Overstreet, confirmed Gladney was 25 years old. We're asking prayers for the family and privacy at this most difficult time, Overstreet said. Several of Gladney's former college teammates offer condolences on social media. I lost, I lost my brother, my best friend, my right-hand man. Ain't too much more I can take, man. Damn, Jalen Rieger wrote on twitter r.i.p jeff gladney brother watch over me please and that was from Jalen here they both played at tcu talented players tcu's always produced good players over the years of not uh, said former uh defensive end lj collier man ain't no way man r.i.p jeff a man i watched him come from the scout team to a team captain to a first round pick jeff was a good friend and great teammate i'm a miss you family r.i.p jeff gladney appeared to be getting his career back on track after sitting out the 2021 season the minnesota vikings cut him after he was charged with a felony assault gladney was found not guilty of the charge in march and signed with the arizona cardinals shortly after gladney joined tcu as a three-star prospect out of the new boston in 2015, he developed into a shutdown cornerback for the Frogs. He finished his college career with 43 passes defensed, 
uh, five interceptions and six tackles for loss. The Vikings selected Gladney in the first round of the 2020 NFL Draft. He played in all 16 games for the Vikings in 2020, including 15 starts. He had 81 tackles, including seven tackles for loss, three pass defend defended, and one forced fumble. He could have been a stalwart player there, but because of the way social media is and how you know, you know these these organizations get attacked when they try to stand by their players. I'm not saying that the Minnesota Vikings were right to do what they did. They should let the situation play out. If you want to suspend him, suspend him. But the fact that they released him so quickly just shows you how weak these organizations are and how they don't stand behind their players despite the fact that these were false allegations. You should have really looked at the process and made sure that everything happened according to what he was saying and his legal team and what they were able to convince uh, the courts just like with Deshaun Watson you know I, I just think that there's a reason why you take things to court you see things through and you go from there but because of social media and all of these snowflakes they look to cancel people before actually waiting for the truth to come out they don't care about that they see a black man and they see an assault charge and they want to cancel him instead of seeing instead of waiting for the truth you get on social media and you demand justice for police officers who do certain things you want the courts to convict them right you want to see that process through you should do it the same way for these black athletes who are getting falsely accused by bitter women and there was a tweet that I saw that summed up everything with Jeff. Put on the screen here. I reposted this on my Twitter. It says, and this was, and I, re, and I retweeted this. It says, uh, falsely accused of DV after he left his girlfriend for cheating, released by the Vikings because of false allegations, signed by the Cardinals back in the NFL. This hurts, man. Rest in peace, Jeff Gladney just getting his career back on track and look where things have gotten it is sad it is ultimately it is sad and this is why you do not under any circumstances believe all women we have to stop this culture of believing women just because they're women we have to be able to see this thing through i'm going to hear some some of the tweets here from people on social media see this this is going viral people offering their of course they're going to be trolls they're going to be people who are going to uh, say certain things but you know this is why you see things through people this is why you see things through is a video clip of him in practice so much talent, man. So much life to be lived. And that was gone. And I hope that Jeff was able to find peace in his life. I hope he was able to be at a point to where he felt like he was able to get back on track. Because I know that he got almost got railroaded. And the fact that he has he was able before he passed to get signed, I'm pretty sure that meant meant the world to him. So rest easy, Jeff Gladney. Hopefully, again, once again, you was able to find that piece. This is very unfortunate. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Like the video. Share this video, man. I'll see y'all in the next one. Y'all take care, man. Be safe out there.